I think it's what what we would call a majoritarian state, you know, in which the majority imposes its will regardless uh, of the feelings of the minority. Now, people say this doesn't affect Muslims who are already in India and are Indian citizens, but that's not the point. The point is it makes those 200 million people feel as if somehow their religion is not as valid or as uh, Indian as, as the others. And that's not a good recipe for uh, harmony. Its competitor should not be Pakistan or Afghanistan. क्या आप कहना चाहते हैं पाकिस्तान में मुसलमान पर अत्याचार होगा बांग्लादेश में मुसलमान पर अत्याचार होगा कभी नहीं हो सकता दैट्स कंप्लीट नॉनसेंस ओके आई मीन आई विल टेल यू एस आई गिव यू अ साइंटिफिक एग्जांपल यू नो अब्दुल सलाम वाज अ ग्रेट थ्योरेटिकल फिजिसिस्ट एंड ही यू नो वन द नोबेल प्राइज फॉर हिज वर्क एंड यू नो People desecrated his grave in Pakistan because he was an Ahmadiyya. He was, they were, he was considered not to be a proper Muslim. Uh, there are all sorts of people being persecuted. And I think instead of making a blanket exclusion, people can decide these things on a case-by-case -case basis. One of the things that India ought to be proudest of is that it has an extremely enlightened constitution considering it was you know written in around 1950 uh, it's an amazingly progressive document and uh, in that sense it differs from many of the neighbors uh, that india has uh, it's it's really like an enlightened liberal democracy that is tolerant to everybody in the country Now, what this bill does is it does something that strikes me as against the spirit and possibly the law of the Constitution, which is that it specifies requirements for citizenship by religion and uh, very deliberately excludes one religion while uh, allowing others. Uh, and uh, if it's going to get bogged down in these Uh, religious squabbles or community squabbles that's going to distract from the very hard task of making progress making uh, with education technology uh, you know advancement general economic advancement and so on and it just sends a bad signal and i think it's bad for the country i think it's what what we would call a majoritarian state you know in which the majority imposes its will regardless uh, of the feelings of the minority and i think you know you could say that's a kind of democracy but it's not the ideal democracy an ideal democracy has a tolerance for minority for opposing views uh, etc you know and and that's that was the uh, beauty of india that even though it was a very poor country you know it was a very tolerant country it didn't care uh, you know it didn't want to uh, ride, ride roughshod over uh, minorities and it was a country where everybody you know could feel that they had some stake in it now if you alienate one sixth or one fifth of the population those people are not going to feel that they have a stake in india and that is actually quite a dangerous uh, situation for a country to be in Normally, I don't interfere. Uh, I don't even express an opinion about Indian political matters. Uh, but uh, I was told that a, a large group of Indian scientists and other academics uh, had, uh, you know, filed a petition against the, this bill. And I did not want to sign that petition because I'm not an Indian citizen. But what I am is a. Uh, person who was born and grew up in India I was completely educated until the age of 19 in India in fact all the way through uh, my undergraduate degree at the MS University of Baroda I was 
a recipient of a National Science Talent Scholarship by the Government of India, so I'm very um, grateful. It is true that uh, as someone who left India a long time ago and uh, has not been an uh, Indian citizen for a very long time, uh, I don't have a local standing. Uh, however, it is uh, the country I'm from, and so I have a deep affection for India, and I want India to do well. And I believe that, uh, you know, India has so many problems of poverty, water, energy, uh, the economy, that uh, it is best if Indians all come together and, and work together. And if large sections of the country feel alienated and don't feel invested in the country, that is not as good for India to make progress. And uh, so uh, I think the ideals of the Constitution really were uh, good ideals for the country to have.